All right, want to say what's up? Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Doing some editing right now, and I watched the cutscene towards the end of this video. The reason I kind of, kind of an abrupt ending, I'll cut to the menu. My daughter ran in my office when I was recording, and I couldn't tell her no. You know, I was like, it's just, it was just one of those things. So I leave out the audio for me. That's why I just transitioned. But love you all, best ladies ever. Hope you enjoy the video. This has been one of my favorite episodes, along with a few others. Just because of what happens, it seems very pivotal for the entire game. So, all right, love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. All right, a song of hope. All right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Always going back to Otto. Okay, here's one thing I want to check out before we go any further is... I got this. I wanted to see what that did. 12% flare breath. Okay, damage. Okay. I got a lot of ability points. So what I've been doing so far is essentially buying the main ability for each one of these. But I'm never buying like the other ones, which I don't really know. I guess we could also get some of the other ones right here too. Circle around. You know what? I never got these. Oh, that's pretty sick. Let me break. Let me hold on. Let me just. At least I can get the middle ones now. Let's just go and buy each one. I have so many ability points, I might as well do that. And then I'm going to upgrade probably something twice just to see if it actually, in fact, does. I want to upgrade this two times and see if the wind-up damage increases. Okay, it's four and two. Let's do it once. Nothing. Let's try it one more time. So you mastered it two times. It just doesn't really seem worth it. It really doesn't. Okay. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to undo this one. Reset this all the way. And I'm going to put this in a limit break because we're always going to have that, you know. <laughs> it's like it's always going to be a crucial part of everything. All right. Looks like we're good. Now that we kind of know to master something. Precision dodge. Let's see. I'm assuming the window just gets to where it's easier. All right, I think I'll save the rest. I think we're good. Kind of practice with all the other stuff, but... Limit break is definitely necessary. All right, here we go. But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? But at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that... Would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. All right, like father, like daughter. Uh oh, the hunts. Yeah, I don't know. I'm good right now. I don't want to get too sidetracked. Okay, everything else is good. We also have this, which I have not How checked out in a while. Here you go. So essentially, this is just like side stuff. Okay. There's a lot here. Oh my goodness. I think you can help. All right, let's head over here. Oh, wait, we could talk to her. Clive. Allow me to educate you. State of the realm. Interesting. Situation map. Then we got the grand cast. That's pretty cool. Past lessons. Interesting. Of course. So it shows everything. That's pretty awesome. They didn't have to put this on here. But I'm kind of glad they did. Okay. It's like the younger. Okay. Man, whoever designed this did a great job. That's very awesome. It's very in-depth. What is this one? Here you are. 
Situation map, okay. I love the icons. Drake's breath, okay. The state of the realm is ever changing, Clive. All right, search mids dungeon zero out of two. Uh, seems like oh, we need to go back, back up these steps and go back down to the other side. Hey, appreciate all of you joining me on this series. I know it's a long game, but I had a lot of fun with it so far, and it's been one of my favorite games of the year. It's in my top three right now. Might be in top two after we finish it. We'll see. I just thought Jedi Survivor, although it had a lot of technical issues. If like frame rate, PC launch was a disaster. I felt like it was overall a pretty great game. Regardless of that, you know. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Mitchell already have read it. I'd better keep looking. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me it's all right. Us. What do we have here? Uh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Oh, we got both of those. All right. What now? Let's continue searching. All right. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? All right, a riddle. Opus daughter's dearest and now it sleeps there in the first? Okay. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Alright, go back and speak like with that. Otto. Trying to think of what other games this year really surprised me. I thought Forspoken, although it got a lot of bad reviews, I thought it was a pretty decent game. Like the way it starts was actually really well done. I think people didn't like the voice acting, but I like the main character in that game a lot. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. All right, inspect the orchestra. Okay, yeah, we haven't done that in a while. This is the thing I always avoid because I'm worried about music playing and it being like a copyright issue. But so far, the game has not had any issues like that. That could change, though. We'll see. <laughs> We're about to find out. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestron. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we pressed all the buttons. Like this. See? All too well. All right, out of the way. Something 
caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it! Sid fixed it! He more than fixed it! Yeah, new music! Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. All right, quest complete. That was a very short quest. <laughs> we didn't do much at all there. To get 500 ability points for that is insane. Just the two I was looking for. My heart? Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. Alright, return to the ironworks. I do want to see if... So there's... Oh, there is something new here. Nice. Let's go to the blacksmith first because if we can craft it... Might as well do that first, right? What do you want? Alright, compare it. Let's see... Why is it so much higher? That's funny. All right, that XD is worth it, I feel like. Six more defense, you lose one HP. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Uh, let's see, these other ones, not so much. I'll go ahead and craft the Rune Blade. Yeah, it looks like it's the highest one. All right, here we go. Should last you a good while. Can we reinforce it, though? We can, let's get it. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Wait, wait. Yeah, we're good. You can thank me later. That should and do it. Nice. Seems like we always get a major upgrade after every major story Still thing, you know. Alive, are you? Coin purse weighing you down. Uh oh! Wow. Okay. Well, that's unexpected. This is actually better in both of them. Go and buy this. Mind, Equip it. You know. Desert Rose, looks like it's just buying materials, music, no thank you. Go ahead and buy some potions. I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I'll sell like everything that. later on. Like, I don't really feel oh, like you no. need to sell everything just at once. Doesn't really make sense. Alright. All right, here goes. The iron works.
alive? My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ainea is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharn? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! Bullets! Everyone with me? It's tornado time, 100%. Here we go. Leave it to me. Look at the limit break bar when I did that. That's insane. I'm going to save it, actually. More enemies. Go after the smaller enemies first. much stagger meter has just gotten destroyed there. That's insane. You're finished. Very nice.
A thousand? I could have sworn it showed like 1900 and then it like faked me out. <laughs> We're leveling up pretty fast. Okay. 36. Right? That was easy enough. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive. But I thought he was... Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man. But the creation of Odin. Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Or was it my own? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Weigh anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friends. He's not larger that runs through a modern space. I'm actually happy there's more enemies because it'll be three waves, I'm guessing. Like oaks before a woodman. Good thing I brought one! How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Uh-oh, hold on. Big damage time. Probably a waste on that enemy, but it is what it is. <laughs> Go ahead and use this now. It's kind of weird seeing four limit break bars now, which is fully upgraded, so. Alright, here it goes. Just kind of waiting for the uh, tornado really quick. Because you know what's about to happen. There it goes. That's so much limit break meter. My goodness. Right, run for it. Enterprise escaped. All right. 
2700 to be precise. No, mate! What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Cheerio! <laughs> 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 Do keep up, my boy! Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it.
What have I done? My lord! All right, full steam ahead. Here we go. Man, the water looks amazing in these cutscenes, by the way. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us, lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Skill can do. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. It's my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. All right, here we go. Where did you hide, Abonimus?
a guy on this ship. Everything about mid has been awesome. He seems like a very likable character. All right, here we go. Oh, they're going to cast Protect? Hold on. I don't think so. Protect this. I did so much damage. All right, here it goes. Probably should use the limit break since I have it. And it's maxed out already. One thing I like about this game is limit break and like the steering away from having to use like magic points to cast magic. The recharge rate on a lot of stuff is better. And you can increase it also with the uh, like the amulet and stuff like that. But I just feel like they did a great job with kind of making something feel fresh, new. It's not overly difficult either. But it's also challenging sometimes, but not that often, really. Pretty chill. <laughs> One of the more chill games I've played this year. There we go. Not really time for big damage yet, because I don't have any uh, things to use. Go ahead and pop this. Of course! Oh, I got a little bit there. Kind of just committing right here. Hold on. Oh, come on. That's like the first time I've actually done that parry correctly. Twelve ten, let's get it. Not sure where we're going exactly, maybe in here. Get my flashlight really quick, aka lighting the sword. Backfired, I couldn't hit anybody. <laughs> I was like, well. You are priority number one. Hold on. Let me get this. Here we go. Flames of the Reaper. Oh, 
I should not have stood there. Oh my goodness. I actually tried dodging that time, but I still got hit. It's all good. There we go. All right. Might as well just throw this down anyways. It'll do damage over time at least. Oh my goodness. There we go. So many obstacles. I'm like trying to see everything. Like, what's going on over there? Very nice. She must be here somewhere. Eighteen ten. Are right, we got something up here? But we can also go to the lower area. Hold on. Hold on. I saw something over here. I guess not. to go. Here we go. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Bring them all together. Let's see if it picks them up. Over here. Over here. Here we go. Six hundred, let's go. Jill. You came. Get back. Uh. Clive, how did you I'll explain later. Hands. <laughs> can you walk? Out of here I can. <laughs> before me but a guttering flame.
think so. But to where? Joshua, the Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation, and thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. <sighs> Alright, Odin fight! Or Barnabas, I guess the dominant of Odin. Here we go. We don't have to do this. So we're 100% oh, we going to get this icon, I think. If only to remind Which makes sense. The one thing I know that's about to be sick is this is only going to be like phase one of like three phases, probably. In a short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. Oh, nice. It has a vessel. Might as well use it now, though.
I completely whiffed. That's not good. Oh, I, I should be doing damage. I'm probably dead here. High potion. All right, Titanic block. We'll assume the mantle you've been given. And thus is the light of hope severed. Uh, what? You would yield so soon. Never. Life. <laughs> see your iron will weighs you down dragging you ever further from your purpose and what is my purpose mythos who are we what are the dominance the breath of the creator still warm on our lips we carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name we are but mighty acts of god we are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos, you wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield? They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... Divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? ...and abandon everything we hold dear! We don't need your... ...salvation. We'll save ourselves... ...and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours... ...and not your gods! With every defiant expression of your will... ...the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps... ...that fact may be put to use. Clive! 
The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> Sixty five hundred. Nice. Clive bested. Uh, the will of light impulse. Let's see. Impulse will. Okay, ten percent. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Joe. And they will have seen the ice. Where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe. But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. 
much. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. We might one day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. What of Barnabas? 
Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with Akashic. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. All right, I thought I would transition to the main menu for this. So I want to do a little bit of a quick summary of everything we just saw. So we had the Odin fight. Obviously, we're not strong enough. And then during the cutscene with uh, Jill and Clive, she gave us Shiva's icon, essentially, to help protect everyone. I was so thankful <laughs> that she didn't die during that cutscene. I, I don't know what happened. If you give up the icon, do you always perish? I, I didn't know like, how it actually worked. But anyways, that's it for now. Love you all. I'll catch you in the next video. Much love and take it easy.